If you stop worrying about now and start just focusing all your energy on the outcome that you're expecting, yeah. it will bring you inner peace and it will place you in alignment with your desire. Mm. In other words, if you just stop focusing on stuff that's distracting you and start focusing on where you're trying to go, yeah. just just zoom in on where you're trying to go. Don't let nothing stop you from getting to where you're trying to go. Yeah, it's another one. <laughs> the Will Spill Podcast. Why is everyday abundant living? That's what we're doing. Make sure that what's in you comes out. Yeah, spill it over. Grab the wheel and tune in. Yeah, we had it again. The Will Spill Podcast. Let's go. <laughs> You're face to face with the Spill podcast. We virtual, so you ain't got to wear your mask. Here's a toast to the upper class, and we gon' vibrate higher like outcasts on this broadcast. We gon' talk about it because we walk about it. They call me Pastor P sometimes cause I'm about it, about it. My beautiful friend, wife, lock when it right all the chicks. Right by my side, name the battle, we done lost it. Laying the blueprint for our four kids and your kids so they can run a smarter play than we did. So get your mind and your spirit right so you won't walk around falling for bananas in the tailpipes. Time out for being dumb. We use our mind to formulate strategies to keep multiple streams of income with the constant float like the OG Hover. Old Jehovah thanks in advance for the Range Rover. What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome to the Will Spill. This is Lachlan Ed Rockmore. And I'm Pierre Rockmore. And we are Wise Everyday Abundant Living. Yes, that's what we are doing. Trying to live wise every, every day. day. Mm -hmm. every In the day. midst of abundant yes. living. Yes. I'm yes. not going to interrupt you. I'm going to let you have your way. Because I know. Oh. Have your way. Let the Lord use you. Hmm. First of all, before we start, we want to thank God mm -hmm. for the opportunity yes. to be here, to do this. Because we're doing this that we do out of a pure heart. We're not on here trying to, um, we're not on here trying to um, come up, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we just on here trying to help somebody along our way. So I live and won't be in vain because we have, <laughs> we have been, look. <laughs> we just live. I, just, I don't want to leave this place and be like, man, you didn't help nobody. All them books. You, you yeah, had all, all these all books. All these books that you have, <laughs> you ain't told us nobody. Nothing. You ain't gave nobody no knowledge, <laughs> no nothing. Because I know if I kick out of here before my wife, that's the first thing they're going to do is get rid of my books. All them books gone. But my son said hey, they're coming to his house. So. Well, I told him he needed to put them down. We had like a little library, like a giveaway downstairs with a free kind of library. Take them books down there so somebody can use them. No, you take yours because yours have the most dust on them. <laughs> take your books. And then I can put my books where yours is. <laughs> All them, yeah, take your books. But Whatever. I have, I love my books. But anyway, I mean, I mean, we just, just excited about this season to be able to yes. come and talk a little bit uh, deeper in and further down into situations in life. Mm -hmm. um, because we actually harp on that abundant living. We do. <laughs> but you got to be wise to to live abundant. Yeah, cause because you got to make just, choices. Yeah, you got to make wise choices, you yeah. know. And you got to realize that um, that the kingdom of God is within you. Mm -hmm. You have to. We talk about this on the last episode, but that's something that we talk about daily. Yeah. You have to understand what's inside. Yes. And you have to guard your life and live your life guarded to where you keep something from going inside of you that don't need to be there. Yeah, yeah. Like, whether yeah. it be music that you listen to, yes. whether it be food that you eat. Yeah. It's oh, all your yeah. your body is the, the temple. Yeah. I mean, it could be company. Company that, that you, you keep. keep. Yes. Cuz yeah. I remember um 
when um when remember I told you I said ain't nobody else coming over our house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No no. We're not having a group of people over our house anymore. Because I mean you just understand that people bring stuff with them. Yeah. Energy. Every, first of all, everybody's not your friend. That's true. We walk around talking about this, what's up, bro? All this bro and sis and fam. Why do they use them words so lightly? Yeah. I mean, everybody's not your friend. Yeah. To be a friend, you must first make yourself friendly. friendly. <laughs> first of all, like, you walk around here typeface. You ain't nobody's friend. <laughs> you, you, you're not even your own friend. That so. laugh that you just did was, <laughs> I don't know so, what that was. You're not even your own friend. <laughs> like, oh, goodness. For real, though. But how do we find ourselves within? Did I say that right? I don't know the question you're trying to ask me. <laughs> how do I know if your question was said right? This is your question. <laughs> how do we find ourselves within? By seeking. That's number one. Seek. Um, and I mean, in order to go within yourself, you have to meditate. Mm-hmm. Have you ever saw a cow, a cow um, chewing and then ain't even eating nothing? <laughs> That's kind of what you got to do. That's like uh, what meditation is. Mm-hmm. Going within like a cow chewing with nothing in his mouth. Yeah. Maybe it's something in there. We don't know, but that's what you got to do. <laughs> you got to go within constantly all day just meditating, trying to seek. Because some, sometimes people are stronger spiritually than, than they even know. Because they'll do something and, and then be like, man, something told me to do that. What? Something was God. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the voice inside. You know, mm-hmm. most of the times the voice inside speaks first one time. Oh, yeah. And Not going to keep repeating one yes. time. And so, you know, it's like I'm like I, I got to learn how to listen to that first voice because sometimes we bypass that first voice. Sometimes we bypass it and then um, and we go on to thinking um, rationally within ourselves about what we should have done in the first place. Does that make sense? What I just said, Josh. <laughs> But no, what I'm saying is that we have to learn how to take that first thought and and um, take action on that, because I, I, I know for a fact that I had a difficult time doing that, like trying to um, uh, do the first thing that comes to mind, like say, for instance, you're doing something and, and your mind tells you, OK, well, you need to do that. But yet then you question that. And then so you end up going to do something else. But that first one was the that first thought was the right thought. Is that what you're trying to say? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, I had a hard time doing that. But I, I finally I'm getting there. I'm finally getting there of understanding that catch that first thought. When you catch that first thought, that first thought majority of the time is right. Because what is it? The issues of life flow from the heart or what is it? about it? <laughs> <laughs> Out of the heart. Out of the heart flows the issues of life. And the first thing that your heart is going to um, exhibit is whatever you what you're thinking. So whatever you're thinking, that's what your heart is going to exhibit. And so a majority of the time, that's the first thing that hits your mind is um, what what's in your heart. So I'm just saying, like, you know, do I say follow your heart or follow your mind? Which one is it? Don't know. (laughs) <laughs> follow you, follow us inside of you um, that's really what that's a big subject in the Bible like when they talk about the kingdom of heaven mm-hmm. the kingdom of God is within that's what Jesus was really trying to t- get people to look within mm-hmm. he was known to point out the fact that there is really it ain't really no outside think about it when you're trying to do something spiritually it's all within it's all within because mm-hmm. okay it said God is spirit Mm-hmm. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit mm-hmm. and in truth. Okay. Can you see a spirit? No. Can you touch a spirit? No. So therefore, if if that's the what you're looking for, if that's God, and you can't see it with your eyes, you gotta go within. You gotta you can let I me mean, see him if you close your eyes. 
If you can see, that's why, I, I, for example, like Stephen Wonder, he's a spiritual being because he goes within. He can't even use his eyes. Yeah. So he he that's why he's so deep because he has time to be right here. Sometimes you close your eyes. Sometimes you should be right there. Mm. It, that's why I would like, kind of like if I meditate, I'll be right there. Mm-hmm. Because you start seeing stuff. You start seeing with your soul yeah. when you close your eyes and don't be distracted. That's why you should sit somewhere quiet. That's why I do it like 4.30 in the morning. Yeah. When everybody asleep. I get I get real in tune right then. Yeah. Because it's like no one's around. Nothing is distracting. The TV's not on. Nothing. Mm-hmm. And I just lay there. And I can get there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With like nothing, nothing distracting me. My my spirit is open. I just woke up. I can hear God inside of me. Clear as telling me what to do for the whole day. Mm-hmm. And if I if I go exactly on what I got in my devotion, my day will be powerful. Mm-hmm. But first thing I had to learn was how to have that devotion. Mm. See, you can't get up and just make, make God fit into your schedule. Oh, yeah, man, I forgot to pray. You didn't got up, you didn't got dressed, you didn't did all this. Then you'd be like, oh, let me pray. No, that has to be your first thing. That's why Jesus says, seek ye first the kingdom. the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all these things will be added to you. What he was talking about was everything else you're trying to do, all this stuff you're trying to do, seek God first. I mean, get up seeking God on the inside of you. Like, um, get up focusing on your spiritual man first. Because yeah. we spend a whole bunch of time feeding our physical man. We eat the finest of things. Some people say, I'm vegan. I don't eat this, and I eat this, and I eat. I'm dieting. I'm exercising. I'm mm-hmm. this, and I'm that. We we focus a lot of attention on that. On the outside. Uh, on This is all temporary, too. Yeah. But what about feeding and having a spiritual diet? What mm-hmm. are you doing for your spiritual man? Because if your spiritual man is weak, your physical man don't mean nothing anyway. Yeah. Because I've seen a whole lot of rich people, people that got a whole lot of abundance, a whole lot of money, that's miserable. Mm-hmm. They look down and, and hate on somebody who have nothing. Then I've seen some people that have nothing that's rich. Yeah. That's because what they had didn't have nothing to do with what they held. Mm-hmm. You can hold anything. You can have something. You can have money in your hand or whatever. That that means nothing. If you don't have peace in your heart, if you don't have joy. Yeah. So that's what I'm, I'm very much on that. Like finding the solution to an empty soul. Oh, yeah. What is that solution? Feel it. Feel the void. Feel Mm -hmm. the blank with something. Like, mm-hmm. people have made money off templates. <laughs> hmm. You know, you have a yeah. template service. I mean, yeah. where you don't I have Googled to do no... so many times of Come how, on how to write a letter <laughs> template, how to write a business letter template, you know, how to write, you and know, all you yeah, have to do, how to write a resonation letter template. Yeah. <laughs> Look, all you got to do is fill in the blanks. Yes. That's yes. how life is. Life has the Bible and all these Teaching, positive teachings and everything has given us a template. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is fill in the blank. Sometimes people fill in the blank with wrong answers. Mm. Like if it's asking you your name and you put your birthday. Or you put your nickname. (laughs) Yeah, that ain't right. So you got to, in life, you have this life, this template that's already laid out. Yeah. Fill it with the right stuff. Mm -hmm. Fill in the blanks. You know what I'm saying? And the best way, the best blank to fill any situation is the Lord, mm. is the Most High. It's mm-hmm. giving reverence to the Lord. Mm-hmm. That's the best way to fill the void of your life. Because if you get in tune and devotion with the Lord, if you didn't have a mama like me uh, growing up, he'll be your mother. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he'll be a friend when nobody else is around. He'll be uh, joy inside of your tears. Yeah. 
But you got to know what to fill the blanks with. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So many yeah. people walk around blank. Yeah. Not knowing how to fill their voids. And I'm quite sure a lot of us um, are seeking for that void to be filled. And we have to know, like where to go when that bill when that when when that void is calling to be filled and and what it is is the 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 voice of god telling you that i'm here you know what i mean he's telling you that i'm here but it's for you to find out who he is for within you mm -hmm. you know because within you that's where he is and when you find him that's when you find yourself yeah. Amen. Yeah. yeah. And that's going inside. Yeah. Because if you realize and if you think about it, your outer reality is nothing but a reflection of your inner reality. That's so true. It's just that like showing so up. It's, it's showing up what's on the inside of you. Like. Yes. Whatever <laughs> seeds you plant in your mind, that seed is going to manifest in your heart. And... It's your gonna heart show up is going exactly. It's going to exhibit in your actions. So it's like you, like whatever you're feeding yourself and you're that you're filling that void with. That's ex exactly what your reality is going to be. So it's like, what do you want your reality? What are your desires for your reality? And that will tell you what you need. That'll help you figure out where you're trying to go in life. You know, because we all have desires, we all have passions and dreams. You know. But what are you doing to get there? What are you doing to um, move forward and get closer to that desire and that dream? Well, you have to fill it with your that void with whatever God has given you to uh, to fill it with to help you move forward because He has equipped you for whatever it is that you're trying to do. You're already equipped. Can I say this? Yes. Yeah, because we're talking about feeling. Feeling in it, feeling the void, or how do you um, find God within? Check this out. Mm -hmm. Check this out. Um, if you'll stop focusing so much on your current reality mm -hmm. and spend more time visualizing the kind of reality that you want. Mm -hmm. So if you take, if you stop worrying about it now and start just focusing all your energy on the outcome that you're expecting, yeah. it will bring you inner peace and it will place you in alignment with your desire. Mm. In other words, if you just stop focusing on stuff that's distracting you and start focusing on where you're trying to go, yeah. just, just zoom in on where you're trying to go. Don't let nothing stop you from getting to where you're trying to go. You'll find that you are so focused on where you're trying to go that you have inner peace and you start aligning with yeah. your desire. Yeah. You'll be aligned with it because oh, yeah. nothing can distract you. But mm -hmm. if you're not thinking of it, if you're not having went into that deep within yourself to even say mm -hmm. that I want to do this and I'm going toward it, if you haven't taken that time to do that, how will you even know where you're going? You're going to be casted by, casted by every wind. You're seeking you're just satisfaction. Gonna be yeah, on the you, outside. Yeah, you're seeking uh, temporary mm -hmm. satisfactions. Like you, you, you looking at it through drugs. Yeah. Or alcohol. Yeah. Or sex. Yeah. Or whatever you find. And if you realize when you find your pleasure and stuff like that, that's what turns you into an addict. Mm -hmm. Because you keep on going there. And you keep on not getting your you're solution. Not, yeah, because you're not, because you have, because it's temporary. So that means it's not going to stay long. So that means you're going to have to go get another fix. You yeah. have to go get another fix. You're going to go get another fix because of the fact A that. Fix. You, yeah, because you're not getting filled. You're not filling that void. You're filling a, what are you, you're filling a purse that has holes in it. Yeah, a purse with holes in it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you got a whole gunshot. And you putting a Band-Aid on it. Yeah. <laughs> you bleeding out. You got to keep switching that Band-Aid yeah. so frequently because you putting a Band-Aid over a bullet wound. Yeah. yeah. In other words, like my daddy would say, you pissing in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get on you. <laughs> you gonna, and it's going to dry at the same time. You're going to stink. <laughs> yeah, man. You got you to gotta line yourself up. You got you to gotta start focusing on and visualizing what you want. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 
visualize what you want. That's that's the key because that's what changes your mind is when you are able to visualize what it is that you want. When you do that, oh my gosh, it's so amazing when you visualize something that you want and then you see it come to pass. Yeah, and that's, yeah, I'm like, right. I've that has happened. I remember my husband telling me so many times, I want to move downtown. I can see us moving out. I can see us living downtown. I want to live downtown. And I'm like, no. <laughs> you know, I used to say, no, they don't have a backyard. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have any work for the kids to play. Then I bought a 30, we had a 3,500 square foot house and they never went in the backyard. Yeah. Shoot, I'm in the backyard barbecuing every other day. They never back there. But guess what? Now we're living the desires of my husband of living in a, a you know, in a loft downtown. And, um, you know, and we love it. I mean, I like it. I really do. I mean, it's, it's, um, it's different it's busy. It's teaching. It's teaching. It was it was a teaching moment for me. Oh. That's why I was saying that I, I wanted my sons to live like that um, at a certain age, to where they used to kind of like handling business, doing stuff around people they self. Yeah. yeah. You know, like I say, man, go down to the store and get such and such. I I give them uh, my card. And they mm -hmm. go down there, come back, they go to the store. I mean, yeah. my youngest son. Yeah. Take the dog out. Go down there. They know how to move and conduct. And the whole building know my son. Oh, yeah. They be like, those, that's <laughs> Pierre and Jeremiah. Yeah, they, they. And see. Paisley. And pa they know my dog. <laughs> they be like, these, these, your kids are so, oh, such manorable. gentlemen. They're manable. They hold the door for women. They <laughs> this and that. I mean, those people know our son and stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's what I wanted. I wanted them to be able to. Be uh, see what urban living living was. See what all kind of people. You know what I'm yeah. saying. All kind of, but they know how to conduct themselves around that. So that that's 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 I always visualize stuff because now I got some visions in my head that you mu you know man this is hey I I <laughs> I ain't gonna even say it because you know but yeah. I, I say this I'm gonna have a Cadillac helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> I've been saying that since 99. One day, I might, literally, my friends used to laugh like, where did you, I, I'm gonna have a Cadillac helicopter, maybe the okay, first one. that sounds good. I want the Cadillac symbol big on the bottom when you look up. Oh, say, at the, oh. What is that, okay. a Cadillac helicopter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what, but I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all something about what we're talking about, about visualizing what you want. Mm -hmm. This is the key, y'all. I'm finna give y'all the key to the whole thing. Okay. The first thing, leave from this video and get you a journal. Yes. Start your journal. You remember they used to tell us that in school? Did they? Get a journal. Yeah, you had a journal in school, oh, but I you did. went okay. to a different school than me. What? <laughs> what get, you get you a journal. Get you a journal <laughs> and start writing what you want in your journal. What? How you visualize? Your life to Yeah, same thing to say. I want to be, I want to live in such, I want to live in such and such. I want to drive such and such. Um, I want to do this. I want to do that. Everything. Be specific. Yeah. And say, in return, this is what I'm going to do. I think this is where that misconception yeah. come like, you sold your soul. Nah, it ain't no selling no soul. It's, you have to give something to get something. Yeah. You got to give, it's just like, okay, I want this, but this is what I'm going to do to get that. Exactly. Because it's not just going to come to you. You got to yeah. do some things. So get to a journal, write down your uh, your vision. Mm -hmm. Be specific. Pray. Medit whatever you do, pray over it. Yeah. And believe that it's done. Yeah. And it shall happen. But bit, you got to sit here. You got to sit there. You got to sit there and you got to see it. You got to feel it. You got to feel it. Yes. You got to even It's a vibration. Smell it. Yes. You know it's a what I'm saying? Look, yeah. I go, I done did this a couple of times and I and my wife don't even know this. I done been to Park Place and I done sit in a Bentley and just felt that steering wheel. Just smelt the smell and I left. Mm -hmm. Second time I went, I wanted to sit. That's since we've been back. Oh, okay. Since we seen, you remember I was talking to old boy with that rose wash truck? Mm -hmm. um, so I went up there and sit in the truck before. 
Mm-hmm. When I left to get in the truck wash, mm-hmm. um, that same guy that I walked out from, he was kind of acting funny. He was like, they don't know how to size me up. You know, I go in there. I may look like I could buy one, but they don't know. I'm like, yeah, I got on a Rolex or something. You know, they check you out like, okay. How you doing, sir? But I was, I still had on some, I, I didn't have on nothing that looked like I was, but they don't know. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I sit in these cars, man. Mm-hmm. And I just smell them. I, I can see myself. I can see it. I can, I can see it, y'all. Like the house that I want. I, I've already been in that house. So you got to be in it. You got to yeah. go there. Yeah. You got to sit and see yourself. Yeah. And when you do that, when you sit still, sometimes you got to stop talking. Yeah. That's true. Stop talking. You don't have to tell everybody. So y'all, uh, just let let it come to you. Mm-hmm. Let, let you hear God from within. Mm-hmm. And you can manifest what you... You can have... If you're faithful to what's inside of you, to God, he will give you the desires of your heart. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, don't think that you're too messed up to where you can't get to this level oh, of Oh, that's so true. That's so true. That's so true. Don't, don't let your current situation hold you back from thinking what you can have. You yeah. know what I mean? Your current situation has nothing to do with your future at all. Yeah. The only thing that's stopping you from getting to your future is how you're thinking about your situation right now. Your perception. Yeah, so you need to change right now. You need to change your mind, change your thought process, and be like, you know what? This is what I want in life. This is what I want to do in my life. This is what I want to have in my life. Yeah. And I'm going to write it down. And I'm going to do what it takes to get there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm going to walk in it. I'm going to smell it. I'm going to feel it. I'm yeah. just, I'm going to be it. And guess what? It's going to manifest in your life. And I before, can guarantee it. Before we go out, zoom in. I want y'all, don't zoom in too close. So <laughs> I'm not that attractive. Oh, baby, yes, you are. <laughs> but hey, check this out. Don't think that you have messed up too far to have a good life. Yeah. Because I've messed up. Don't think that you have gone too far and stayed too long and there's nothing good coming to you. God is a God of grace. Mm-hmm. and forgiveness. See, I couldn't understand forgiveness until I forgave myself yeah. for stuff I did. Forgive yourself. Not Don't think that you're too far gone. You're not. And I guarantee you, uh, God can get straight stuff from a crooked stick. <laughs> he can get a straight hit from a crooked stick because yes. he did it through me. Yes. So manifest what you want. Go inside yourself. Get you a journal. What did I start at there? Yeah. Get you a journal. <laughs> Write it down. Write it down. And visualize it. it. Sit with it. Be specific. And watch it come to pass. Yeah. Leave a comment down below. Yeah. When it happened. I want, I'm excited to know because we can sit here. Matter of fact, let's have a, a show just telling people how stuff then came to pass. Matter okay. of fact. I'm, we got to oh, all, this is the last thing. Okay. We can roll the music. Okay. <laughs> no, look, I'm going to tell y'all this. We have a family Bible. In 2017, what was mm-hmm. 18? 17. 2017, we wrote down our goals for 2018. Yes. Um, have y'all no, ever heard? it was five years. Oh, okay. Well, maybe my bad. I just know we wrote down our goals in 2017 for what we wanted in 2018. You don't have to put a limit on it, though. No. Yeah, don't I'm, put it. I'm not saying a limit. I'm saying what we did. Oh, okay. We, we wrote it down, and we look. I use this as a reference now. I go back in that Bible and look at it. We have went all the way down that list. Only thing we haven't done on the list is... Bought a house. Bought a house. Everything else... Yeah. Because right then we was in our house. We were getting ready to get out because we got yeah. messed up. We was in this house that we thought it was our house of our dreams, but we realized we wasn't going to be in there long. So we wrote down. For us. We finna buy a house. But I'm going to tell you something about this list as we go. Okay. The only other things that on this list that didn't come to pass were things that were spoken by somebody who wasn't sure on oh, what they were talking about. And we yes. just really like that. If you ain't sure, you just you write down sure. stuff, it ain't yes. going to work. Yes, you're not sure and you ain't walking in it and you work. don't feel, it ain't going to work. 
Yeah. But, but I'm saying, but if you for real, if you sincere about what you write down, it will work. It will come to pass. It shall be done. Yeah. Believe that. Mm-hmm. And that's wise. Every day. Abundant living. Hey, we love y'all. Peace and blessings to y'all till we meet again. That's wise every day, abundant living. One thing we want you to know before we depart is Christ loves you. So why you out there trying?